we're back once again. It's uh, me and this guy, Patrick. So it's our second week uh, without uh, Jessup, which means it's our, our other filler for Godfather Month. Um, we are going to be reviewing a movie that was requested by Jessup himself, a movie called Found, which is directed by the Wachowski siblings and stars uh, Jennifer Tilly. As she pl as this is about a same-sex couple that's kind of caught in the middle of like a crime deal with, with, with like a local gang. Well, <clears throat> the way I saw it, it was more like two women who one who was a, a former convict, the other is a is a woman in the closet in a loveless marriage. And she's and they both are trying to get a better life. One, one's trying to, <clears throat> one who's at the bottom and one's who at the top. But she just wants to get away from it because of the connections her boss, her husband, because of the connections her husband has. I guess that's where the title "Bound" comes in. She's yeah, I guess so. Bound by these the rules of society, and they're both bound by the chains that they're wearing one's from their past and one's from their present yep um and uh, honestly it was a little bit hard to uh, follow i don't know if it was due to the lack due to lack of characterization especially for the character of corky because we got more characterization out of violet than we did out of her right? don't you agree patrick yeah we <clears throat> i wasn't really so Certain. I thought at the beginning that Corky was going to be our lead role because she is, we get our opening shot with her. In, and as the story progresses, we get more characterization out of violence. We get to see how, through her interactions, we see her fleshed out. And Corky is more or less just a vehicle for Violet's escape. She needs Corky to help her get out of this situation. Mm -hmm. And so, it's, and as the story progresses, we get to see that Violet is more than what she's, than <clears throat> what she credits herself to be. She slowly, throughout this tense movie, comes out on her own. She comes out of her shell. Corky is, in a way, much like her. And she's, it's through Corky that she's able to find her courage. Mm -hmm. I think also Corky kind of just, you know, wears her heart on her sleeve in a way, while Violet is a little bit more conserved. I also like the uh, color contrast we see the two women wear throughout the film. We get to see Corky in <clears throat> more whites, and we get to see Violet in dark colors and mostly blacks. Yep. They're like a yin yang. Yeah. And how, how about we talk about uh, the way they interact off of each other? What do you think? Uh, how do you think of that progresses? Because I feel like they just jumped in a little bit too soon and didn't really give us much build up. Well, the way I see it, it started off as uh, more of a case of physical intimacy. Yes. <clears throat> and also, there's a bit of mistrust because. Corky doesn't really think Violet is completely honest with her in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But we do, but maybe that's, maybe it's just the backgrounds. Maybe it's no different than a film with between and a man and a woman. If this, if the roles were just between uh, ex convict who's a man and a woman he, who is in a loveless marriage. No, I feel like no matter what the relationship was, I feel like it could work uh, either way, wouldn't you say? Yeah, um, I did like the appeal of uh, the main characters being a lesbian couple. It was it was kind of what pulled me in when Jessa told me about it, because I no, was... I was very interested uh, as uh, Noel, and uh, I guess uh, maybe uh, Patrick uh, was into it a little bit more than I was. Cause... Yeah, it's a pretty good thriller. It is a good thriller. It does take a little bit. It well, it doesn't. It doesn't go too fast, but also doesn't go too slow either. I would say, like when it comes to the chemistry between uh, the Violet and Corky, like we said, they don't waste really much time with it. And however, they do develop 
as the movie goes on, as a, an on-screen chemistry should. Um, and when it came time for the action and for the plot to go oh, forward, it really delivers, I think. Yeah, it, it, the romance didn't really pull the plot down. It didn't really slow anything down. In fact, it was kind of the main purpose. It was <clears throat> the drive. It was to get out and be somewhere together. Yes, and it wasn't the sole purpose of the whole movie. It was just them wanting to make a living for themselves and wanting to escape this dreaded area that they're in. Yeah, and the way the other characters are fleshed out, I felt sympathy even for the even for the main bad guy. Yep, same same here for about like five minutes. Yeah, we're not going to spoil anything. We're for not going to spoil well, anything, but. If you're into like, you know, action thrillers with a little bit of an intimacy, then you might like this one. If you're uncomfortable with uh, sex or uh, sex between two women, you don't have to watch it. No. It's not, but if that's not your, if that's not what draws you in, then don't worry about it. It's, there's only one, one main sex scene that's more, more or less about 30 seconds. Yeah, I'd say so. But other than that, if if you're all you're into is a simple thriller, then this is the movie for you. It's like it, I love the minimalistic scenes. We don't need to go to many uh, different locations because it's all pretty much in the same building, except for one or two locations outside of the uh, area. And even then, it really sets you up nicely. You don't you are familiar with the surroundings and you just feel so trapped in them too yep no and uh if you're looking uh, for some good movies to watch i think this is a movie that you could probably live without uh, seeing unless uh this uh, unless from what we've told you this is something that interests you yeah, yeah. so should we uh, should we uh is there anything else you want to add in patrick Yes. Also, for anyone who watches Law and Order Special Victims Units, the main male lead, at least until he left a few seasons ago, is in this movie. Also, uh, Joe's wife from Family Guy, Jennifer Tilly, is in it. Yep. You probably it, it took me a few minutes. I, I know, know her from I know I also know her from the Chucky movies. So this she does carry a great deal of this movie with the simple direction and the, the simple but uh, smooth writing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really need to do too much, I don't think. I guess that's what makes it work the best. Yeah, I totally agree. When a movie doesn't need to do a whole lot, when there's not really a whole lot at stake, then that's what I what makes me appreciate it a little bit more. So that just about does it for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe for more content. So next week, we're continuing Godfather Month. Uh, maybe Patrick will join us again. We'll see. Um, and we'll be reviewing The Godfather Part 2, which is even longer than the first one. <laughs> Ooh, I better watch the first one then. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to watch the second one on our own separate times. Uh, so until next time, see you later, Posse, and we will see you next week.